my name is Andrea Ulrich, and I am the program manager for the Tobacco Control Data Initiative Program. So we recently got back from a South Africa assessment where four of us uh, were able to interview key stakeholders, both within government, academia, and civil society. So one of the things we found is that many of our stakeholders talked about the importance of having data in an easy to understand, actionable format. Unfortunately, the way many data is presented is designed for researchers or individuals who are experts in a topic. However, for government stakeholders who are often trying to balance many different priorities, it's hard for them to understand very technical information that's presented to them incredibly quickly. So one thing we heard is it's important when we design our tool to make sure that the data that we prioritize and that we show in the dashboard is very understandable and is just showing the most important pieces of data that we want to convey. Another key finding is the importance of data for e-cigarettes. As many of us know, e-cigarettes are a relatively new product on the market. They're not tobacco products, but they are manufactured in many cases by the tobacco industry. And they contain varying amounts of nicotine, which is an addictive chemical. Many researchers and civil society organizations don't understand or know the prevalence of how many South Africans are using e-cigarettes. And they're also trying to get data on the health impacts of what happens when individuals smoke e-cigarettes. So we've definitely heard the importance of gathering data and understanding next steps about e-cigarette use, and if possible, the need for regulation. Another frequently mentioned topic in our assessment interviews was about illicit trade. Basically, there's a problem in South Africa and many countries where boxes or cartons of cigarettes are being sold but aren't being taxed as they should be legally. This causes a big problem because the South African government isn't getting the revenue it needs to fund health and other social programs. It's also a problem because it makes certain interventions for tobacco control, like tax policy, more ineffective. And it disincentivizes individuals who would otherwise not smoke because of the high price of cigarettes. So South Africa's revenue collection for tobacco products has gone down in recent years and or stabilized. And this is pretty concerning, especially considering the millions of rand that are missing from this lack of tax collection. During our interviews in the assessment, we frequently heard from individuals, particularly within government and civil society organizations, that it's important for South African decision makers to be able to get data that's from their country. In other words, local data. That's considered the best case scenario. And that's when they'll know that they'll be able to make decisions based off of relevant data. That said, when national data isn't available, the next best thing is often comparing South African policy interventions and tobacco control to what's considered standard in other countries that are of similar GDP or of similar size. And then uh, other countries within the African continent, for example. Policymakers talk about how they wanna know what other countries are doing. So that's something that we heard and planning to incorporate into our design of the dashboard we'll be building. We do assessments like these so that we can gather information this information will be critical when we design a dashboard that will answer and display critical tobacco control data. And by referencing this dashboard, stakeholders in the South African community, including within government and civil society, will be able to reference it as a trusted source of information. And by doing so, they'll be more effective in their work to help South Africa be healthier and happier in the future.